into branding but let's start at the very beginning um, and, and think about you're a business owner you're a person you might have your own brand but you also need to create your business brand so is there is there going to be a difference do you still need a personal brand if you have a business and you have a business brand I know I have some really clear thoughts about that what, what do you think um, well I always go back to the old adage that people buy from people yeah. and uh, you know so yeah, we've got to be careful not to get swept up in this personal brand means all these social media accounts and whatever else, this, this, um, this copybook style of what a personal brand is. But to me, a personal brand is, is that your customers and your market knows who you are. And I think about a lot of founders um, that I support and invest in, uh, with in, in their business is, is that they're known within that industry. Mm. Why is that business going to be successful? Because people know that there's honesty, integrity, there's quality, um, you know, they're mm. supported with those, with those products or mm. the service within that industry. So, and to me, that's a version of a personal brand. You bet. You know, people know who you are mm -hmm. and they know what you stand for. Mm -hmm. um, and often, and we see this in the corporate sector, that gets lost. Lost. You know, if we, if we talk about some of the big corporate, the biggest corporate companies in any country and we say, well, who is the person behind that business? Often, probably seven to eight times out of ten, you're actually not going to have a clue. Yep. The, some of them, the really, really successful ones, the ones that people have a loyal following and a tribe with, they're known. Yep. We think about the Jeff Bezos, the, yes. um, the Tim Cooks, the Steve Jobs, the, um, the Elon Musks of the world. Those people have built loyalty in a tribe because mm. they know what that person stands for. Yep. However, if we maybe started to think of some of the financial services institutions and things like that, hmm. where we don't really have loyalty, yep. Yep. we don't really have an affiliation with them, we don't really know what they stand for because mm. we actually don't really know who's leading that business. Indeed. And um, so, um, you know, I think to have ultimate success. I think you do need a personal brand, hmm. but be wary, it's not the cookie cutter mould. No. Um, so I think if, uh, from, in, from my point of view, if you're going to start a business, you need to start with you first. It should be about you, your mindset, your values, your purpose, your mission, your brand. What do you stand for? What are you going to stand up for? And then when you be, build that business, you're going to build this, build this brand around this business. Well, you are the business yep. to begin with. So that brand needs to expand into the business itself. And, and you go in a parallel path uh, because you might have an expertise in the industry and you've gone, oh, I'm going to start my business, I'm going into this. So they need to complement one another. You know, the values of you personally and the values of the brand, the business need to be aligned. So in, for me, the personal brand is the foundation and it's the, it's the person, it's the authenticity that sits behind it, it's the values and you build the culture within the business. So your personal brand, you're walking and talking it every day you're just talking more about the business, but people can connect you with the business brand itself. Yeah, mm. I think uh, as, as a consumer, we all like authenticity. We Indeed. like to know who we're buying from, as again, going back to it, it's been you know, decades along saying people buy from people. People, people want to yeah. know who you are, what you stand for, and um, you know, are, are you standing behind it is what you got, like a faceless, mm. faceless uh, brand uh, that's just peddling a product or a service, you know, there's, there's no accountability there behind that. No, right? no. So your customers feel more comfortable if they know something about you. And, and ultimately, you are you. You just need to be you. Yeah. And, uh, and you will then start to attract those people. You know, it's a journey that we've gone on through here. Yep. Um, I've gone through with multiple other businesses where I've always known that the business always does best when you as the owner can actually get yourself out there in front of the clients, whether that's on a one-to-one -one basis or one-to-many basis, but that's where you will experience your best growth. Yep. So logistically for that, we see many business websites where you have no idea who the owner is. Uh, they use stock video and photos, and I know for us, we've made a conscious decision as much as possible to use our own footage and our own images. And I've, I hear many business owners going, Ooh, I don't want to be on video, I don't like my photo, well, uh, who cares what you think and I'm not a fan of listening to me and those sort of things myself personally, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's, it's that my audience can hear, can hear you, and can hear, hear yeah. myself. So you need to be prepared to share your story, get yourself in front of the camera, get yourself in front of the microphone, and put yourself on the platform, on the social platforms, on the website, so people can find you and connect yeah. you with the brand. Yeah, if you want serious, genuine growth in your business, yeah. um, and if you want to your product or service to reach as many people as possible, you need to make sure that your market knows the person behind the company. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's that's the way forward. It's it's really a non-negotiable. I no, think if you, I agree. I mean, you can creep forwards with growth over time. Yeah. Um, but you know, the best, fastest way to do it is get yourself out there out and let there. people know who you are. Indeed. Thanks for watching the video. Now, next steps for you is to check out our workshops and boot camps so that we can work with you one on one and get your business growing. So, check out the workshops, boot camps on the Navigate Biz website and don't forget to find us on social and like and subscribe. There's no need to complicate things. Let's stay, let's stick to the basics.